All right, I think we got a got a moose sighting down here, maybe. All right, looks like you got a little moose on the trail. It's pretty cool. Just down from camp, sloshing around the lake. Just checking this out, going, leave me alone, I'm having my breakfast. All right, it's Sunday morning. Decided to scramble up this hill and go check out this little pond it's just to the south of Lake Hesse my son and I tried it last year with no luck oh hey there goes a buck well, that's pretty cool anyway I'm gonna go try it again see if maybe there's fishing at this time but last time we didn't catch any so the others are down there fishing the main lake I just wanted to explore a little bit and just give this lake another try all right short walk and there she be Ooh, smells like fish in the air maybe there's fish Maybe I'm just smelling things too, I don't know. But nevertheless, I'll give it a try. It's about eight feet deeper this year than last. So maybe, might have some luck this year. It's pretty. Well, just like last time, no luck. Fished it for a little bit. No activity, no fish swimming the shoreline, no fish surfacing, no following the lures. But man, this is pretty with this reflection. Can't tell what's up or down. Pretty neat. And return trip I get a nice view of Lake Hesse how freaking awesome is that such a pretty view you can see the others on the other side of the lake they're fishing scattered out heck yeah Well, after about 15 minutes of trying, it's been pretty slow fishing this morning, but got one. Yeah. It's not as big as the others, but it's still a fish. This one's dark orange, pretty. Nice. Ooh, super dark orange. All right. Got another one here. Let's see what we got. It's not as big as those others, but it's still pretty good size. Yeah, another nice.
nice one. We got here, we got a bobber and we caught a dragonfly. We're gonna throw it out there and see if we can get a fish. All right, first cast. Is it still there? Is he still tugging? Yes. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. Holy cow, look at that. Oh baby. That fish didn't, he ate the wrong dragonfly. Oh, he's a big one, I can, I can see him coming in. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there he is. Let's reel it in nice and slow. Don't want him to get away. Oh, he got away. All right, update. That other fish took the dragonfly, but look what I caught. Another dragonfly. It's gonna be awesome. Third time's a charm. Keep it tight, don't let it get loose because that's only a one hook, not a tr treble hook. And then reel it in over here by these logs right here. Yep, keep it tight. You got him. Oh, here he comes. It's gonna be great. So if you can reel him over here, Megan, right over here, and you can lift him right out of the water. There you go. Oh my goodness, keep it tight. Don't let it get loose. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Okay, now come over. Keep it, oh, he got off again. Are you kidding? Oh! <laughs> so we decided to come over to this nearly every cast lake to cat, let the kids catch some fish. And Holy crap, there's like 50 horses up here. Some of them bridled, some of them hobbled. But nobody in sight. It's crazy. First cast every cast lake right here. All right, look at that. You got one. You see it? <laughs> okay, drag it. Drag it through the grass and bring it over to you so you can see it. Then your dad will help you get it off. Okay, bring it over. Pull it over. Let's keep on reeling it in. There you go. He's a smart Out of the water, one. success. Caught a fish on every cast lake. Okay, drag him in. There he is. Nice little brook trout for you. Good job, smile. Uh, Looks like Miles caught his first fish. Yeah, that's a spider. Good job. Kind of, kind of hey, you know what? Small, big, it no matter. You're going to catch one here. Oh, look at that. He's bigger than some of the others. <laughs> so we uh, went down to the lake. Every cast lake, and we didn't catch them every cast, but everybody that went down caught one, so that's good. Looks like Mama Moose didn't travel too far. She's back down in the water, eating some food. Oh, that's pretty cool. Be the fighter. Oh yeah. I think the treble hook's the way to go. That single hook didn't quite cut it. <laughs> they love a dragonfly. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got off. He got off. He 
Mesa de Hoje. That wind is blowing the bobber right into shore. <laughs> Finger on the string and reel it in a little bit. The bobber went down. Go ahead and bring it up, you might have one. All right, looks like Christy, you gotta see what you got here. Ooh, nice. Not as big as the other ones, but still pretty nice. Mandy's got one. Woohoo! Okay, don't lift him out of the water yet. Okay, now drag him up on the shore right here. Reel it in There you go. Oh, sweet, man. Woohoo! Nice fish. Fish. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Here, look. Okay. <laughs> the fish flipping around. What you got there? <laughs> <laughs>
Homemade lure. Homemade lure. You gonna eat that one for dinner, George? Yeah. What? You want him? No. You want him, Boo? All right. All right, first time in several trips. I'm finally going to keep one to eat. He's going to be delicious. He'll be delicious. Well, I almost had to hike all the way back home and back just to get some foil that was big enough. Now for a little lemon pepper inside and out. Wrap it up and let it cook in its own juices in the fire. It comes out so delicious, perfect. On the fire, cooking to perfection. All right, cook to perfection. Hey, little guy. What you digging for? Got something good over there? Oh, there you go. Gone. You know, the fishing, just about every fish we caught was really big, but boy, it's hard fishing. I mean, we didn't catch them you know one right after another i mean we really had to work hard to catch the fish that we caught but uh, the ones we did we let most of them go uh, we only kept enough uh, one fish i think we only kept three to eat which is good which means you know all the rest that we release back into the lake will be there for somebody else to catch and maybe even us next year when we come back. Uh, and as long as people continue to do that, do the catch and release, and only keep the ones that they might want to have for dinner, I think this place could be amazing for many years to come. So hopefully if anybody's, you know, thinking of coming up here, they'll respect the, the area and the fishing and you know do the catch and release and have fun catching a big fish and let them go for others to catch too All right, 6.30, Monday morning, Labor Day. We're getting things uh, wound down here. We're packing up. Hannah's looking like a scolded pup. Like she's been in trouble or something. But... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get some breakfast in us and get on the trail early. Maybe we can get on the roads early so we can sit in traffic longer. All right, so we're about road ready, huh? About road ready. Ready to put a period on this trip? <laughs> Exclamation point. Exclamation point. And we dismantled the fire ring, kicked some dirt on it, well, we doused it down, and we just, yeah, you did that too. And then we want to just check around, make sure this area looks good. Yeah, so hopefully others will come up here and do a similar thing and 
try to do is to leave no trace. This one was well established fire pit, so it was a bit harder to dismantle and take back to natural, but we did our best. I forgot Hannah. Hannah, you ready to go road ready? You ready to go on the trail, huh? Oh my goodness. Well, one nice thing about this trail is you do all your elevation gain on the way in, which means <laughs> it's all downhill when to the truck and it should be pretty easy. So hopefully everybody will make it down just fine and have a enjoyable end of this trip. I just wanted to comment on this trip. Mosquitoes, hardly any. I didn't pull out the bug repellent, not even once this trip. I think it's just a little chilly for them to survive anymore up here. So that was good. Less bugs mean means you're less bugged. <laughs> All right, we've been going down for about 20, 30 minutes and we're still going down. This is about the halfway point of the down. And then we're to the main trail of Red Castle. And then it's just kind of flat walking from there. So we came up with a couple of trail names. Christy dubbed uh, George 100 Poo Cent. So we're gonna that's gonna be his name. And then his why, Kim. I think so far we've come up with Hill Hater. And we'll see if that sticks or not, but Hill Hater is a pretty good one. All right, made it down the main trail. Kim was the first one down. We'll call her Sea Biscuit for winning the race. All right, here we go. We're all assembled. Should be an easy hike out of here. No more downhill for Miles' knees. It's still pretty cool in the morning. It's not hot yet. So. Huh. So this is part of the trail where we get lots of cows. There's cows over there. Cows over here. Last year when we did this trail with sheep. Big herds of sheep. This time, it's cows. It's real time. Real time, baby. Kind of a crazy thing it is labor day and it's just before 10 o'clock and we haven't seen a single person on the trail at all so far so that could be a good thing could be a bad thing it's either they're all ahead of us already on the road making traffic congestion for us or, <laughs> which would be a better scenario, we're at the front of the pack going home. So hopefully that's the way it is, but you know, you never know. So we'll see when we get to the trailhead how many cars are there when we get there.
So I give a fishing report for Lake Hesse and surrounding areas. So initially the fishing Hesse was pretty good. We, we were catching a few right off the bat and then it just kind of went dead for a while, for a long while. Everybody was having a really hard time catching any fish. So we ventured off to some of the other lakes and in that area and we were doing a lot better as far as catching fish one right after another. So I guess if you're looking for catching a lot of fish, Hesse's probably not the place to go, but the fishing at Hesse was, the fish you did catch were um, quite a bit bigger. But they were fewer and far between. Look at that river. So last time we hiked through here, there were these orange fish in there. I think they were salmon. Really cool. That's a pretty, pretty river. Smith's Fork River. Yeah. Just follows along the trail. It's pretty nice. Yeah, most everybody I talk to that come on this trail, they they just bypass the Hesse turn off. They say it's not worth it. They want to go see. They want to go see the picturesque Red Castle reflection on the lake. So most people are going for that particular reason. Plus, those Red Castle lakes, the main Red Castle lake. At least last year when we were up there, had some really big tiger trout in it, and even some cutthroats. Um, the lower Red Castle Lake, they were a dime a dozen little little brook trouts. They must keep that pretty stocked. So, so I guess you probably get more more out of your trip if you're going up to Red Castle area. You just have to manage the crowds because there's plenty of people up there, but. You know, with us taking the side trip to Hesse and not going anywhere else, we uh, we only saw one group of people on horseback, and that was about it. We pretty much had the place to ourselves, so it was kind of nice. Fishing was slow, but what we did catch was was nice. It just got frustrating for some because they just, you know, 100 casts into the lake and not catch anything. But... If you were fly fishing that area, it seems like that uh, would be a little better for you than lure fishing. But we did okay all in all, but everybody caught a fish or two. Uh, I think everybody had a good time. I'm not really sure what it is about that last 0.2 miles. It sure seems like a long ways. All right, I got the trailhead coming into view. And it looks pretty deserted. So, that means a lot of people are already on the road ahead of us. Dang it. But, it is what it is. Let's make the best of it. And go from there. Hannah, you made it. Here comes Eminem through the finish gate. Go, Mandy. You did it! You did it, baby. High fives! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! Made it! Yeah! Alright, I'll pause it until the rest come. High fives cross the finish line. High fives cross finish line. You did it. Smile. <laughs> high fives. High five. Woohoo. Another high five. Woohoo. All right, let's do it. All right. 
We got Butterfingers and 100 percent coming through the finish line. Butterfingers. <laughs> High five. Come on. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam.